Hey everybody, welcome to the Carl and Ginger family vlog today. We are out and about as a whole family. I have an idea, something that I want to revisit. We've kind of halfway done a super wobble full of slime, but we did it with edible slime, the Metamucil, and it's not real slime. It's just like slimy Metamucil, right? What do you guys think? Should we do a legit slime wobble on the trampoline? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've yeah. got to do it for real this time. It's harder than it looks, but we're going to make it happen because that's what we do. Every day is a new day. Someone. Oh, you guys totally botched that. <laughs> <laughs> Your slime hat's starting to flop around. <gasps> oh, oh, Kyle! I think we have some super wobbles still at home, but our first step is is we need to go on a quest to track down where we can find more super, super wobbles and where we can buy them, because they've always been either online or at Toys R Us. Ginger thinks that they might have them for sale at Target. I've seen them at Target only once. I've seen so. them at Walmart before, but last time I've been there and I've asked, they don't have them, so we gotta go find some. We still have some Wubble Brights. They're the white ones with the LED lights that like light up inside, which might be kind of cool. Uh, maybe we'll make two slime Wubbles. I don't know. I just wanna get some colored one and we need to restock. Part of the reason is that like a week from now, maybe a week and a half, we might be dropping a uh -huh. couple. Oh it's, no, it's a secret. Is it a secret? Carl. It's a total secret. Might, Guys, no. We might be dropping them out no, of No, Carl. No. Wait, no. wait Carl. <laughs> We've successfully found the toy section. It's just a matter of hunting down the wobbles. Oh, well, here's a bunch of balloons and stuff. Did you find some? Yeah, they do have them. Ginger, you're right. Look, they've got a bunch of them. They've even got the water wobbles and everything. So that's awesome. So check it out. They got the pink super wobbles. They've got the water wobbles, the helium ones. And they've even got, I've never even seen these ones. They've got tiny wobbles. That's kind of cool. I think they only have the normal size ones. They've got the blue ones and then they got these tiny ones. Maybe we'll do some little stress balls made out of those. The challenge is it's actually really hard to get something like glue inside a wobble because the entrance, like the little hole inside of those is like a pinhole. It's like really tiny so we kind of come up with a creative solution as to how we're gonna do that. I think I have an idea to make like a funnel out of a water bottle or like a two liter coca-cola bottle. We've tried using funnels before to fill up the super wobbles and it's really difficult so I think if we use a coca-cola bottle or something like that then the opening is a lot wider for the glue to get in. Oh by the way you know how everybody was giving me a hard time because I, I took Jesse's hat from Smelly Belly TV at CBX Live but you know what? I think he might have taken something from me too because my really nice Oakley sunglasses, my custom ones that are brown with the red lenses that say Olincelot on the bottom, those have been missing since CVX. And he Guess was- up, Jesse. Guess Jess, up. Jesse was suspicious that I took his hat, but now I'm double suspicious that he took my sunglasses to get revenge. So here's the thing, you guys need to go subscribe to Smelly Billy TV and keep an eye on him because if he all of a sudden has a pair of sunglasses with the rose or red colored lenses, look for it and at the bottom if it says Olincelot, those are mine. So I'm gonna hold on to Jesse's hat as ransom until I get my sunglasses back but maybe we'll have to get together with our friends sometime and I'll give him back his hat and he can return my sunglasses because I'm like 80% certain that he's the one that took them. Just make sure that you guys are being nice though to him. We're just like trolling each other because it's funny. Nobody's really mad. They're good friends of ours. So if you'd say anything, just make sure that you stay nice. We ready? Yes. Somehow we wound up with a whole trunk load of Diet Coke. How did that happen? Yeah, she's gonna do a video for his channel. Oh, you so are? Check it out. How, whatever Coca-Cola survives, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. You better film it quick or it's all gonna get drank, son. We're out having a little family dinner. Come on, camera, focus. <laughs> we just set like some family YouTube goals for our family YouTube business that we're all running with all of our channels. And if we hit If we accomplish the goal, then we get to go on a family vacation somewhere in the world. So tell us down in the comments below where should we should spend Christmas. Is there a YouTuber that we should spend Christmas with? Or where should we travel to for Christmas? Because we want to go like on a fun family trip for Christmas this if year. If we hit our goal. If we reach our goal. Right here by my suit is the Instagram follower of the day. Right here. If you want to be the Instagram follower of the video. Should I kiss it? Then just, are you going to kiss it? Oh, I just Hi, kissed yes. the Instagram follower <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> if you want to be the Instagram follower of the day, just follow us on Instagram. Well, if we're going to use one of these for a funnel, it's got to be empty, Carl. Just going to pour myself a little cup of Diet Coke. Just so little. Is that little? Let's just get real. This is how it really goes. <laughs> 
and why. Okay, this is gonna be our funnel. I'll show you what I mean right here. You're welcome for helping you make your funnel. Oh, you're, thank you, <laughs> thank you. We've got all of our stuff to make the slime wobble now, and this is the blue wobble. And I forgot to mention, we forgot to film, we ran into some really cool girls, some kids at Target when we were buying the wobbles, and they have been watching our videos, and they picked the blue one. So we're gonna go with their advice and do a giant blue slime wobble. This is gonna be our funnel. We're just gonna, it, it's just rough and tumble. We're just gonna cut the top of this two liter bottle off. It doesn't have to be like amazing. It just has to get the job done. So now we have a funnel that we can use to pour the glue in, but it's not gonna get all plugged up like a normal funnel. See, we got it all the way in there and my idea is gonna work. So now we have a larger opening in which to add the ingredients for our slime, which is glue, contact solution. contact solution, a little bit of water with some baking soda dissolved in it, and we're good to go. <laughs> Just quit giggling, no giggling allowed. Is it working? Just, <laughs> it's going in there. You're super wobbly, Luke, hold still, man. <laughs> Dude, you're always gonna make a huge mess, I know it. I think you're doing a great <laughs> job, Dude, Luke. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Luke has officially been retired from glue pouring <laughs> now. He's over there. Ginger's is back here helping me now and it's going a lot faster, a little bit smoother. I think we're gonna do the whole gallon of glue because this is gonna be a legitimate slime wobble. We have all of the glue, that's an entire gallon of glue. Now here's the thing, super wobbles, how big do they get, Luke? Oh, like... Like they'll get like yeah. bigger than a beach ball if you really fill them up with air. And we just don't wanna do that, we definitely don't want like five gallons of glue to pop all over our kitchen, which if you're familiar with our channel, you know that would happen if you tried to go bigger than that. So we're gonna leave this wobble in its natural shape and make more like a giant stress ball than really go for some big like 50 pound super wobble this time. So next up, we have baking soda and water solution and this starts to thicken the slime, so we're gonna pour that in. It's already starting to turn into slime a little bit and you just add the contact solution down in there a little bit at a time and that converts it all the way over into like real slime so we have a real giant slime wobble here so we got these tiny wobbles let us know down in the comments below what's something that we should do with this if we got like a whole bunch of them maybe we'll order some more have them send us some let us know what's a great idea of what we can do down below and then also don't forget to subscribe and to turn on notifications if you haven't already so you can be part of our notification squad one hour later we've done like probably four bowls of water and baking soda and an entire bottle of contact solution, but check it out. Now, when you squeeze some of this up through the nozzle, it's actually behaving like real slime. Look at that. We have a slime wobble. This is the first one we've ever done with legitimate real slime, and there it is. Look at that. That is so weird. That is awesome looking, right? It looks really cool. It's like a gigantic stress ball. Look at this thing. Here we go. Oh. That is cool. We need to take this out on the trampoline and see yes, what happens. Definitely. Can Kyle carry it out to the trampoline on his head? No. <laughs> yes, he can. Ready? Oh, he can do it. <laughs> Hold it. Ready? Mark, reset. Go. Can he do it? <laughs> and let's see if anyone gets brain. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, it's dripping. It's sagging oh, off no. the back. Your slime hat is starting to flop around. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I can't see. Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Hot. Uh, there it is. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Can we do it on the trampoline and bounce it? Yes, you should. Yes, you should. That is technically a giant amount of slime. It's an entire giant slime ball. <laughs> <laughs> It's not nearly as big as the giant Metamucil one that we did with the edible slime. But when you're using real glue, like, do you really want that to pop? <laughs> Does it float in the pool? We gotta see if it floats. It's gonna totally land in the springs. I can see this happening already. <gasps> Kyle! Kyle! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Who's gonna go in and get it? I don't think it's gonna float. Wait, 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 we gotta vote. I vote that it's gonna sink. I vote that it's gonna sink, yeah. yeah I vote it's gonna float. Mom's gonna win, you guys. Okay, let's go, chuck it right in. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Is it gonna come back up, though? Is it slowly rising, or is it, oh. It's not coming back up. 
Man, are you getting in with your pants? I hope he didn't have his cell phone in his pocket. You got it! You got it? <laughs> now we know that watermelons actually float on the water because we did a video about that. They'll float, float in the pool. But slime wobbles do not float in the pool. Apparently we've learned something today. I'm just gonna chuck it in there, ready? Go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Guys, I think that's it for this video. We made a giant slime wobble with good slime this time. We really wanted to do that. So, <laughs> so click anywhere on the screen in order to subscribe or to watch more videos. Woo! And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>